Hi guys, Squall here, and welcome to a first look of a rather unusual game um, in that it's completely free, certainly in its current form anyway. Um, I was recently received an email uh, last week from a company, well, I say a company called, they call themselves Moose Attack Studios, and they're a group of students that have basically spent a few months putting together a free open world snowmobile game, which they call Till Nord, which is what this thing is. Um, if you go on Steam, you can basically play it now for free. Uh, their email goes on to say that they're basically coming into full release soon. And the game is essentially set, it's like an open world driving game. So you've got this snowmobile, you're in Norway, uh, quite far north in Norway. They've kind of set it on a, on a place similar to the Lofoten Islands in Norway, which is up in the Arctic Circle. So you can expect it to be icy and cold and you'll probably see some aurora borealis. The daytime and weather seems to move quite quickly. I mean, just even talking here, you can see it's getting a bit misty. Um, and there's kind of like fun things to do. Um, at the moment, I'm using my Xbox controller. You can use keyboard and mouse. So on the Xbox, you know, if you press left trigger, you do that. Press right trigger, you do that. Uh, left bumper will put the lights on. Uh, right stick will give you like a rear view. Left stick lets you steer. The right stick itself does the uh, look around. And then there's like X for a drift mode, I think. Anyway, so if we're driving to the first cylinder here, we'll get our kind of first mission. Uh, it's not spoken yet. Hello, this is Tamsin. Greetings, my friend. I'm Till, a racing instructor here in Lofoten. And it'll say, I heard you're trying to make a name for yourself for the island with that snowmobile. Respect your enthusiasm. Uh, this won't be so easy. And you can see, like, it's quite nicely done. I think it's built on the Unreal Engine. Uh, I need to assist the town with some tasks as they're struggling to uh, get through this cruel winter. Looks pretty nice to me. Um, and it says, aside from the task, there's a bunch of race trials for you to prove your skill with the snowmobile. And it kind of pans around and gives you an idea of the modeling. And if you look, they've done a pretty decent job, it has to be said. Why don't you start by bringing some fish to the mayor's house, uh, the fishermen usually keep at the shore of the main island. I just cross the bridge and we'll see it. Best of luck. Right, okay, so we're going to quickly do that mission. Don't know how big the map is itself. Um... What I can see, it's, I'd say it's like 95% there. I have seen some weird things uh, with like little gaps in the scenery, things not placed properly. But it isn't the full release game and it is free, so kind of bear that in mind. I guess it's a bunch of students just like figuring out, hey, you can drift. I guess it's a bunch of students just kind of figuring out if they can make a full game here. That's how I read this. So there's these like snowmen that you can take, uh, one of 42 destroyed. So I guess the size of the map, it has 42 snowmen scattered around it, and you've got to kind of find them all out. Press the tab key, the right bumper will toggle the UI on and off. So you press the right bumper, you can completely get rid of that, which is kind of useful for um, if you want to just, you know, press F12 or whatever your screenshot key is to take a screenshot. And the game is pretty, I have to say, it is pretty. Snowmobile physics is like, hmm, if you ever get stuck at the main menu respawn, um, yeah, that's fine. Snowmobile physics is okay. Like, for example, if I hit this here, yeah, I, I kind of kill myself in a certain ragdoll way. Press R to respawn, and back you come again. Actually, I don't know where it's put me now. <laughs> i got to go find the bridge again now. I'm not entirely sure where it just put me. So now I've got to find the bridge. Oh, it's back there, look. So I think I've got to go this way. If you look on the compass, there's like an icon which tells you what your next objective is. Oh, it's put us on the other side of the bridge. I see. Yeah. There we go. Uh, mission pickups trigger the next checkpoint to show the compass updates the yellow marker according. So it's kind of teaching you at the moment that we kind of need to follow these yellow dots. So we need to go down here a bit. So normally, when you're looking for a mission, you'll see like a reddish icon. Um, it won't tell you how far away it is, which is slightly annoying because you don't, you really have no idea if it's like a kilometer or a few hundred yards. As you get nearer, the icon does get bigger. So there is a sense of we're getting closer. It's just that when you see like four or five possible missions, it's a bit tricky to work out which one might be the next one to go for. Anyway, let's try and punch it. You see these? I'll show you the physics now and you get an idea. Uh, you can see it's moving the snow around. Uh, you can go over rocks and all kinds of random stuff. We could probably even go on roofs of things. Um, so the physics is okay, but it's not amazing. Don't expect it to be fantastic. No, and it just transitioned into night, like, super quickly. And then look at this. Then we start to see 
a bit of Aurora Borealis. It does get a lot better than that. It's quite a cloudy night by the look of it. Put a little light on now for our snowmobile. Get to here. Uh, completing the mission will unlock new missions. Red boxes appear, delivery missions. Blue hourglass indicate time trial. Right, so now this is this is what I'm saying. If you look around now on the top, you can see that that box there is obviously closed there. Uh, that's a time trial. That one's further away, but how far? No idea. Let's try going to this one. And we'll see if we can pick the mission up. Yeah, it's a little bit kind of arcadey physics uh, in terms of the snowmobile. But I think it's just trying to be a bit fun, you know? The missions, they've got some story to them. Like, there's some later that um, to do with wind turbines and things like this. Greetings, Tasmin. It's me, Alex, the mayor of the city. Right, okay. I got some reports from the fishermen at the docks. The lighthouse isn't working. Okay. That's not good. Can you please go up there and give Lars, the lighthouse keeper, a call to see what's wrong? Sure, we can do that. There's no option to skip, by the way, I don't think. Right, so we've got the yellow mission. So what it, it seems to shut off the orange boxes, so it looks like you can't have more than one mission running at the same time. Let's get back up here. Let's get back on the road. Now, I have seen things like ramps conveniently placed. Um, I don't think there's, there's one, funnily enough. There's one. Right, just have a quick go of this. We do a riff. And then we'll go back, pick up a bit of speed. And then you can kind of pull back on the stick as you go up like that to try and do a flip like this. But you don't get any points. Like, I don't think they've built anything in for, you know, GTA-style stunt bonuses. If you remember games like uh, GTA 4 and stuff like that, you go around on your motorbike. Oh, so much. You go around on your motorbike and... Um, like hold a wheelie and you get kind of bonus stuff for it. I don't think they've built that in yet. That's not to say they won't. And I think that's the kind of the point of this tech dummy is obviously this bunch of students have got together thought, let's just make a game. Let's use the Unreal Engine and we'll just make a game. And that's what they've done. And they've chucked it on Steam for free. I guess so people can just have a play with it and see as a concept maybe, is this something that might fly? Is this a game that could potentially be fun? And I think it is. I think it is a concept that could be fun. I think what they should probably work on is the is the, uh, the vehicle physics. Let's try and tidy that up a little bit. Um, it's not quite so arcadey. And then the missions. Hello. Oh, it's you, Tasmin. I keep wanting to say Tamsin. You're coming at the perfect time. The light of the lighthouse died last night as we had no more fuel. Wow, okay. Fuel? Please go to the gas station between the lumber mill and the town and pick up some fuel. Okay, I'm not sure how much fuel we can carry on our snowmobile. <laughs> It might be better to do this with a truck, but we shall do it. Is that the red dot down there, perhaps? Can you see that in the distance there? Like a red dot? So I guess this is where you have to make some choices about the route that you take. Now, I have seen it go misty. Um, I've not seen it snow as such. And that is another thing that I kind of wonder about. Oops. Is, um, you know, do they plan to add blizzards or, like, snow or other kind of weather effects that could uh, affect your mission. As far as I can tell, your player doesn't have a health bar, a status bar, or anything else, so there's no sense of you running out of fuel, or you getting stuck, or you needing some food, or anything like that. Wow, look at the colour changes. I mean, look at that. Like, colour-wise, this game? It's it's pretty nice. It has to be said. Look at that. I mean, I've got to take a photo, guys. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's as nice as it gets. And the frame rates, I mean, I'm I'm maxed out at 144 FPS right now. So in terms of that, they've got that boxed off. They've got something that looks nice. They've got a beautiful map. Uh, like I say, it probably needs to tidy up in places. But I'm sure they'll do that for release. Missions, if they can make them really fun and interesting and a lot more challenging, perhaps. And then get a sense of um, maybe upgrades to your player or your or back to light house. Or um, perhaps your snowmobile. Maybe you can get like better snowmobiles, more powerful ones, or get attachments on them to do different missions. Maybe you could even tow things. Um, I don't know. This, the point is that they could build on this. I'm so tempted to just. Hang on. I want to go full speed up that ramp. Get some speed. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Oh, that's head first. No, it's not. We're fine. 
I thought it was going to land on my head there. But like I say, if you fire up Steam, look for Till Nord, you can actually try this game for free and see what you think. And maybe just give me feedback. If you press, uh, what is it? On, on an Xbox controller, it's not... There's the one to pause it, which is that one, which is your right thumb, and then your left thumb, I forget what they call this button, you can enter feedback here. So you could send them some feedback, and I think that's what they want. Maybe suggestions, maybe, like, obviously you can bug report, but, you know, give them, like, a steer on what you think. Let's take a uh, shortcut view. Or just tell them, great job, you know. This is looking really cool, keep at it. Just give them some encouragement. That might uh, be all they need. Because we could have ourselves a nice little game here. Make the map even bigger. Who knows how big it is. They could do more maps as well. Thank you so much, Tamsman. Tas Tamsin, Tasman. <laughs> the light is finally back on. Yay! That'll burn for another half an hour. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's go exploring. Let's do that. Ooh, good. Let's go over here. So we've done this part of the map a bit, haven't we? Oh, let's go and have a look over at, um, because in the intro it showed you like a scrapyard of some sort. Oh, another thing is the audio. I think the, uh, the engine audio needs some tweaks. I kind of feel like, I don't feel like there's a, a mass in the vehicle at the moment. I feel like they need to improve the physics of this vehicle so it feels like I'm trying to turn a full mass. Uh, it kind of bounces off things, you know, like that. I should, strictly speaking, fall off. But I guess they could make that an option. Is like how how realistic do you want the drive physics to be? Um, because some people are quite happy with just banging around in arcade mode. Others will want something a little bit more challenging, I guess. I guess we're not going that way. So this is the main town. There's the bridge we came over. I have to say the buildings are very typically Norway, aren't they? kind of coloured buildings that they have. The vehicles themselves as well, everything's scattered around, like you don't see any people. Um, there's nothing to interact with apart from these boxes that I can tell. There's, there's something this way. Let's try and get around the top. Maybe it's on the top of this bit. Oh, there's some wind turbines, look. Okay. Uh, I am Sandy. I work at the windmills at the shore. Okay. I'm calling you because there's an issue with one of the windmills, and I need someone to check out, to check it quickly and report the damage. Okay, we can do that. I'd really appreciate you going to the windmills area and giving me a call back so I can give you more instructions. Oh, I've, I've never quite understood why some countries call them windmills. Like, windmills... Windmills are what you use for milling grain into flour. Like, they, they take the wind power and they crush grain with it. Wind turbines, on the other hand, take the wind power and use a turbine to generate electricity. But for some reason, some countries, they still call them windmills, and I find that slightly perplexing. Anyway... As an aside, all right, so here's the issue. One of the wind turbines froze overnight, but I don't know uh, which one exactly. Okay. That must be a real problem. Oh, it's given us a hint, look. Looks like it's near the coast. It's near a barrier near the road, see it? Um, that's got to be a problem. Like, uh, if the wind stops, these things could easily just ice over, couldn't they? There's the rail. Let's follow the rail round. I suppose when they're moving. Do you reckon they have the icer on them? Probably need it. Oh, well, that wasn't too difficult. <laughs> Assuming this is it. Great! You found it! Woo! Go me. Thank you so much. I will clean it right away. Yeah. I think you might need some specialist equipment to get up there and do that. Okay, let's, uh, let's head this way. Maybe go inland a bit, head to one of these boxes. Whoa! There's a, an antenna up there, you see it? Like a giant antenna. If we kind of head towards that, maybe we'll see something interesting. Cut across this bit. There we 
go. Maybe there's some missions for that thing, actually. Whoa, boy. Yeah, there's something here. What's this? Some kind of army barracks or something? How the heck am I supposed to get over the rip? <laughs> um, okay. Well, we could try. I don't think this is going to go so well, but, you know. Oh, boy. Okay, that's it. That's okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I never knew snowmobiles could do this. That's incredible. <laughs> is this meant to be frozen water? <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god. I guess that's a little thing that needs to sort out. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, there we are. Ooh. Right. Hey, Taz. Taz. Oh god, I give up. Glad to hear from you at this time. Uh, the doors to the research facility got locked from the inside, so we need someone to get in and open them. Oh, that sounds like a jump over the fence type job. Uh, with that snowmobile of yours, find a height to try and jump in the facility. That's why they put it near the water, and they're giving you a clear look. You've got to get up, up there. There's the platform right up there. Okay, this should be good. But first of all is... Get up that. Let's go around the back side here. Let's see if we can find that. It, it kind of has this GTA feel about some of these missions, you know? Particularly jumping off things. I'll never forget that mission in GTA 5 where you're on a on a, a bicycle. Oh, you're on, you're on a bicycle and you kind of go to this like super tall peak, jump off and then halfway down parachute. It's such a fun little mission. Right, let's get some speed going. Woohoo! Don't die! Bosh! Alright, let's get the snow, snowman thing. And then we'll uh, capture the... Hey! Locked door complete. Fantastic. Right, let's do one more mission. Let's head towards this thing. And don't forget there's time trials as well, so you can go like... Time trial racing through various places! Oh, there's the fuel station again. Man, it's gone night time. It's a shame it's it's cloudy because I kind of wanted you to see one of the beautiful Aurora Borealis that it has. I mean, you can kind of get a sense of it there. But it actually, on some of the clear nights, it looks fantastic. And the night lighting looks very good. Like, the actual point light source coming out of this thing looks really good. And the lights in here look around this scenery. That's on point. Right, let's grab this. Hey, Tasmin. Greetings. Greeting, I am Petar. I work at the lumber mill here in Lofferton. We're planning on building a snowmobile racetrack on the other side of the river. Okay, you need a bridge first. Uh, you would help us a ton if you bring that material crate across the river and bring it to the next track. Okay, what material crate? Yikes. Wait, where did that go? I was half expecting or hoping for a trailer. But he seems to have just absorbed it into his backpack, which is curious. Right, so, um, how exactly do we get over here? Same diversion. Looks like the ramp kind of points this way, doesn't it? Um, there's no map in the game as far as I can tell either. I really want to get over that. Oh, there we go. There's a ramp here, though. Should we try that? Take a little bit of a run up. Woo! Easy money. Oh, yeah. So that's why they hired us. Because we're so good. Oof. You brought them already? <laughs> Perfect. Let me get to work. And there is a brand new ramp for you to try out. Why don't you give it a shot? Well, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? I wish you could kind of skip through the missions a bit easier. Okay, we need to get that. Okay. Right, oh, there it is. Right, how do we take a run up at this, then? See, these, like, ridges on the edge of the road make it a bit awkward, because they slow you down. But what if we... 
Oh, it looks like the road's the best way, actually. Let's get on the road. Alright, let's get some speed up down here. Nice sharp turn before the ramp. Woo! Lumber Mill Bridge. And a steam achievement. Right, let's try. I know we said last one, but let's try. Finally, a time trial. Let's see what happens. Racetrack. Follow the checkpoints on the race. Try and beat the time. Okay. Nice. I wonder if you need to drift. See, things like this is where if you improve the driving physics and, oh god, make it more difficult, um, you could really challenge, like, you know, if you make it a lot more icy or make the driving physics harder, this would become a lot harder. This feels like a scale extra track. Why do I feel like I've gone the wrong way? Okay. I'm not, I'm not seeing any more blue things. Oh, there's blue. I don't... Okay, I'm confused! I'm confused about your racetrack. I think I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating now. <laughs> Whoa, look at that sunrise, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, something weird happened then. I think I must have taken a wrong turn on a figure of eight skate track. I'm not really sure how I did that. But never mind, we'll keep going. You could have made it as wide as a track. That's really annoying. Lost a load of time. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh! Oh, we're finished. Yeah. Well. That's that, I guess. I'm sure I could do a lot better. But I think we'll leave it there. You notice that sunrise and the mist has come in already. Um, that, yeah, that's, you know, it's called Till Nord. Uh, it's on Steam. It's free. It's about to have a full release, uh, apparently, according to the, the developer email. And, uh, yeah, give it a whirl. See what you think. Give it a thumbs up. Leave them some comments. Leave some comments on the video, actually, guys. Uh, I'm sure the devs will read this. I'll email them back with a link to the video. So, yeah, just leave them some comments about what you think, what could be improved, what they could add. Uh, just give them a bit of encouragement. You know, it's always nice to see some uh, indie game coming from some new, new developers, students. So who knows what they'll do in the future, eh? That's it for me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care. Happy skiing.